Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see the solution to the lead code problem sort the matrix diagonally. So it's a very simple problem. So the problem is given the matrix diagonal is a diagonal line of cells starting from some cell in either the topmost row or leftmost column going into the bottom right direction until reaching the matrix is end. So basically explaining what a diagonal is. So we all know what a diagonal is, right? So for example, if this is our matrix, then this is one diagonal, this is one diagonal, this is one diagonal, this is one diagonal. So all the diagonals are marked. And an example is given. For example, the matrix diagonal starting from matrix of 2 comma 0, this is the row, this is the column, where mat is the matrix name, it is 6 cross 3 matrix, includes these cells, 3 cells, right? So, now our question is, we are given M cross N matrix, M rows and columns, and the name of the matrix is mat, and we have to sort each matrix diagonal <coughs> in ascending order, and then we have to result, uh, return the matrix, okay? So, quite simple. So, for example, this is a matrix given, this is one diagonal, and we have to sort the value in this. So, 1 is 1. 2, this is another diagonal and the values are 2, 1. So we have to sort 2, 1, they will become 1, 2. Then our uh, matrix diagonal is 3, 2, 1 and we have to sort the values. 3, 2, 1 will become 1, 2, 3 and then we'll put 1, 2, 3. Then again 3, 1, 2 will become 1, 2, 3. 1, 2 will stay 1, 2. 1 will stay 1. Okay. So my approach is quite simple. In my approach what I'm doing is I'm taking in each diagonal and then I'm showing the value of that diagonal in a list. I'm sorting the list and then I'm putting the value, putting the value of the diagonal back into my matrix. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out each diagonal, we're going to show the value in a list and then we're going to put it back after sorting the list. Okay. Now M will be mat dot length number of rows N will be mat of I dot length. Okay. So I'll just get on with the code and explain it as I go. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll take two for loops. So for int I is equal to zero and I less than equal to mat dot length. Okay. So this one will be for m because m is mat dot length and then i plus plus and then I'll say diagonal sort diagonal sort um, the my matrix mat and then i and then zero. So here every uh, column will be c will be zero. <clears throat> okay. And then I have another for loop and I'll just copy this one. But in this for loop, instead of going to mat dot length, I'll be going from mat of zero dot length, okay? And then it will be zero comma i, right? So this will be for all column values, okay? And then afterwards, uh, I'll return my matrix, okay? Now inside these diagonal sort, what am I gonna do? So I'll just write it down. So I'll just say private void diagonal sort my function name. So diagonal sort. And then I have int and matrix, my matrix which I'm sending over, and then I'm sending int uh, r, then I'm sending int c. Okay, so for each I'm gonna say diagonal sort 1, 0, 2, 0, so on, and then diagonal sort 0, 1, 0, 2, where r and c are the row value, the column value, and then my matrix. So this is the main function where, ev where everything is gonna happen. Okay, so <clears throat> first let me calculate m. So like it says in the question, m is what? Mat dot length, right? So m is mat dot length. m is mat dot length. Okay. And then I have int n. n is uh, mat of 0 dot length, right? So the rows and the columns, I'm just calculating. Okay. And now I'm going to keep the, I'm going to store the value of r and c in some temporary variable. Okay. So I'll say int rt is equal to r and int ct is equal to c because r and c I'm going to use to traverse through the diagonal and then store the value in a list. Okay. So I'm going to store the value in a list like I already said. So it will be a list of integer. So list of integer, I'll just call it simply say list <coughs> and it will be a what? Array list. Okay. So I'm going to keep on adding the diagonal values into this list. Okay. So I have array list of what? Integer. Now I don't need to write that and that's it. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to traverse quite simply. <clears throat> so R will go from uh, uh, R to M and C will go to C to N. Okay. <clears throat> and with this, I'll get each of the diagonal value. And the diagonal value will be what? A matrix of R, C. Okay. So list dot add matrix of R and C. <clears throat> okay. So I'm adding list uh, dot add mat of R of C. So with this, I'm adding the values of matrix in a value of the diagonal into the list and then R plus plus C plus plus. And this will go on till the end of our uh, diagonal. Okay. 
so C++. <clears throat> okay. And then finally, I'll just sort my list. So with this, I have one diagonal value in my list. So for sorting a list, I'll just say collections dot sort and then sort word the list. Okay. Now I got the diagonal and uh, I uh, sorted the diagonals value. Now simply I have to put it back. Now how will I put it back? First, because R and C are now different. So I'll be using RT and RC or CT. So again, I'll make R as RT, <coughs> C as CT. So again, these hold the row value and the column, the row length and the column length of the diagonal. Okay. And now using a for each loop, I'll be uh, getting the values and putting them back into my row and column. Okay. So these are again the initial values. And again, after doing R plus plus C plus plus, I first I did R plus plus C plus plus and I took the value of the diagonals. Here I'll do R plus plus C plus plus and I'll put the value of the diagonal. Here I took it, here I'll put it back. Okay. So I'll just say integer and integer. I'm traversing through a list. Okay. So uh, and our list value name is list itself. So inside this for loop, what I'll have is I'll say matrix of R plus plus and C plus plus is equal to integer okay okay so matrix of r plus plus and c plus plus is my integer and that's pretty much it okay so what we did again <clears throat> is for each we went through each diagonal okay and how did we do that first we went from the uh, like column length and row length for that we have two for loops there here then afterwards <clears throat> what we did is we started at the initial value of my diagonal which is r and c and we went till the end of the diagonal, we stored the values in a particular list and then we sorted the list and then again we started from the initial value of R and C. Again we traversed through the diagonal and this time we stored the value which we had in the list and because the list is in now in ascending order, so the value of the diagonal is now stored in ascending order. Okay, and <clears throat> that's it. Now let's try to run it. I hope I didn't make any mistake in the code. Okay. <clears throat> length 21 21 21 yeah this should be a semicolon okay now let's try to run it again okay so it's it shows correct answer i guess and let's try to submit it and it gets accepted so if we show details then we'll be able to see the runtime and all Okay, so the runtime beats 82% of Java submission, good enough, but it can be improved. So basically that's what I did simply. I just took in the value of the diagonal and I put the values in a list. I sorted the list and I put the values back in my diagonal. So that's all guys. If you have any doubts, just put them in the comments. Thank you.